Whoa, what a ride. And uh, it was a good ride because I came here to give you guys another really quick and really cool tutorial. Now in today's video, I want to talk about the redirection of links and show you how to improve the user experience on your portfolios, on your personal websites, to make sure that the experience that the person is having that's viewing your website is quite good, especially when it comes to looking at your social media links or redirecting to your resume or showcasing some work that you might have on GitHub. Now, the thing I find the most frustrating about redirection links that sometimes you're on a website and you scroll through the whole thing and you're like right somewhere in the middle, you don't know exactly where because the page is really long and then you click that redirection link and it just opens up the page in that tab. And then when you go back, it just moves you to the beginning of the page and reloads the whole page for you. And it's just, it's frustrating for sure. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to overcome that problem and how easy it is to give that user experience. And also I'm going to show you a trick that most people don't know about uh, that is quite simple and extremely convenient when it comes to the redirection of links. Now, if you do enjoy these tutorials, make sure you smash the subscribe button, but without any further ado, let's jump into the code and I'll show you exactly what the difference is. Okay, so here I basically created a very basic HTML boilerplate where I connected my CSS, gave it a title, and here in my body, I have three anchor tags. One directing me to google.com, the other one to Yahoo, and the other one to Bing. Now, I added an image inside the anchor tag because I'm just fancy like that. Uh, <laughs> and I like to make things look nice. So uh, I wasn't gonna leave you with plain HTML text links, come on. No, uh, this is me and I do things in a fancy way. Now, let's see what happens if we do click on one of these links. And as I said, the frustrating thing is where it just reloads the tab for you. It, it just reloads in the same place and then you go back. Same with every single one of them. Now, today I'm going to show you how to make use of the target attribute within an anchor tag to specify how you want the new page to open. Now, probably a lot of you know, and I'm going to add this target attribute and uh, I'm going to make it equal to underscore blank. Now, what do you guys think this will do? Well, underscore blank actually doesn't open the page in the current tab, but it opens a new tab for you that you can view everything in. So now if I just add this target to every single um, anchor tag, like so, and then we go onto the website, what you will see if I click Google now, it just opens in a new tab. Then if I go back to Yahoo, it opens in another tab. If I go back to Bing search engine, which nobody uses by the way, don't use it, uh, it opens up in a new tab. Ah, but this is frustrating. Why do I need so many tabs? Why can't it be even more user friendly than that? And you know what? It can be, and I'm going to show you. The really cool difference here is that I can specify, rather than saying underscore blank, we can just say blank. What this will do is rather than opening up a new tab for each page, any uh, anchor tag that has a blank attribute will open up a new tab for that page and then any following blank tag afterwards will open up in that new tab that has already been opened. So that one tab will serve as the space for showcasing all those websites, which makes it extremely user-friendly and really not many people know about this. So now if we go onto the website, now if I open up Google, it creates a new tab and opens Google. Now if I go back and open Yahoo, it uses that new tab already created and then renders the new page in that tab without spawning two tabs at this point. If I go to Bing, it uses that same tab and opens in that new tab. Now, how sick is that? This is much better for user experience, especially when you're showcasing all your projects on your personal portfolios. You know, you don't want people to keep having all these tabs open. You just wanna serve the purpose of them viewing whatever they need to see and then being able to return back to the same place. Now, that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something new. I think this is quite useful and not many people know about it. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.